update. We are sitting at uh, 18 days, I believe is the number, until the midterms. And the numbers that are pouring in are suggesting that we are headed for a red wave and potentially a red tsunami. Right now, if you look at the gambling markets and if you also analyze those in conjunction with the polls, Republicans are poised to pick up three Senate seats in Nevada with Adam Laxalt, in Arizona with Blake Masters, and in Georgia with Herschel Walker. Uh, Potentially New Hampshire, Colorado, Washington also in play in the Senate. It does not look like as Dr. Oz is now taking a commanding lead in the betting markets in Pennsylvania as John Fetterman is collapsing. Yesterday, Joe Biden traveled to Pennsylvania to campaign with John Fetterman. Today, and I'm looking at the live gambling odds of uh, the uh, Senate race right now. Today, we have a pretty substantial move in Pennsylvania uh, where Dr. Oz has now opened up a 12-cent lead. The way this works is it's on a dollar scale. So Republicans are at 59 cents. Democrats are at 47 cents. So Republicans are starting to pull away in a big way in Pennsylvania. Uh, You have got Herschel Walker surging in Georgia, Blake Masters surging in Arizona, Adam Laxalt uh, in Nevada. They just had a poll that came out that showed him up five points, which is the biggest lead that I have seen for anyone there. In other words, a Republican Senate a red October is looking like it's going to lead into a very good election day 18 days from now. We're going to continue to break this down for you on a daily basis every day between now and the elections. And obviously, with everyone starting to vote, early voting (coughs) in many different states is going on, and that is continuing to have a big impact as well. But I just thought it was funny that Joe Biden and John Fetterman campaign together in Pennsylvania. And as soon as that happened, I'm clicking at the live results right now, money came pouring in on Dr. Oz to win this election. We'll see whether that shifts, whether it comes back down or whether he continues to move into the head, into the, uh, into the lead even more so than he is right now. Blake Masters earlier this morning became a favorite in the Arizona Senate race for the first time in the gambling market since this campaign began. So Republicans are surging down the stretch, and that is going to be fun to follow. It's not just in the Senate either. House Republicans are going to win the House, but there are a lot of states out there uh, that potentially we are going to see Democrats losing their governorships. Uh, We had Wisconsin, Tim Michaels on today. In the state of Wisconsin, it looks like We are going to get a Republican in the State House in Wisconsin. Uh, By the way, Ron Johnson's going to win. J.D. Vance is going to win. That's Wisconsin and Ohio. And in in North Carolina, going to have a win there as well. Democrats, other than Pennsylvania, have almost no states in play in the Senate. Uh, But Tudor Dixon now favored, according to Real Clear Politics, to beat the Wicked Witch of the Midwest, Gretchen Whitmer. That would be a big deal. Christine Drazen is surging in Oregon. She is now favored to be the first Republican to be elected governor there since the 1980s. And Lee Zeldin, according to a poll that came out today, the Republican candidate in New York is now leading over Kathy Hochul. Why is all of this happening? Why is there a red surge? It's because Republicans are talking about the issues that voters care about. Inflation in the economy, crime, the lack of security at the border, and also the CDC has reinvigorated the COVID era by putting in place a policy which could require your kids to get the COVID shot. Uh, Now, CDC says, well, we we don't say that you have to get the COVID shot, but... Actually, so many states defer to CDC recommendations that the CDC says, hey, we're not mandating this. And then so many state health bureaucrats say, we're not mandating this. We're just following CDC guidance that you end up in 
an absolute cluster of ineptitude, and that is where we are. Here's the reality. Democrats have been wrong about everything for two years. Every single thing that Joe Biden has touched has turned to crap. And voters are fed up. It is going to be an absolute, I believe, red wave that may turn into a red tsunami before all is said and done. 